morning. I am uh, going to be talking today about the effects that you will begin to feel as you go on first on therapy, which I have done in the past for other reasons. Um, and I am beginning to have those side effects or symptoms of, health, of ridding my body of toxins. So uh, everybody's still asleep and so it's quiet and uh, easy to make the video without interruption. Um, right now I'm preparing my oatmeal. I got this a while ago. It's steel cut oats. It takes longer to cook. They look different. I don't know if I can show you. They are not flat flakes. They almost look like grape nuts. No, I don't know if I can. But anyways, um, they don't look like your normal oats. Not that they're any better. Or, or I, don't, I don't know if they're any better or not. They are not organic. But as I said, I'm going to take what I have and use them up. Now I'm taking a whole organic apple. I did get them. And I'm cutting them up finely. Like um, very finely so that they cook. The one reason I like the steel cut oats is because they do take about 20 minutes to cook and that gives time for the, um, the whatever fruit I put in there to get nice and soft. And Max Gerson's, his, his point was he wanted you to be eating things, if you can see like how tiny these pieces are. He wanted the food to be so easy to digest that it was like baby food, so that your body, your body's effort was not working on anything except for metabolizing and healing. So um, I only use two tablespoons of this. It's a, it's half a one serving, but one serving on this makes a lot of oatmeal. And there's just no way I could ever finish it. Half a serving is more than I, I mean, I feel like it's more than I need. Put in a dash of nutmeg, probably not even, I don't even know if I put in an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little something for flavor. Oh, and I have to tell you, um, I can find it real quick. shopping last night, yesterday, and I asked him to pick up a couple things for me because you can eat brown rice and it's supposed to be uh, organic. And look what he found. I told him to just get me brown rice till we could find it. And uh, he found this in Kroger in the rice section up on the top shelf. I am so excited because this is definitely on the list of foods I can eat. And um, it's it's difficult to keep excited about or enthusiastic about eating when it, things you know seem the same over and over but anyways um i wanted to t uh, talk about two more things i want to tell you the side effects of um, what happens but first i want to explain in my first video i said it takes courage. It took courage to make this video. Well, it didn't take courage to say that I had a lump. I want to clarify that. It took courage to make a video and to think that I could do it and that anybody would be interested. That's what took courage. Not not the cancer. I don't I am not afraid of it and uh, I feel like it's just something that can be dealt with. Um, I wanted to also point out, if you've never bought an organic food before, it frequently goes bad much quicker. So, but this does not mean it's non-edible. It just means if you, if you don't, might not want to eat it raw, but cooked up, you'll never even know that it had those spots on it. Okay, now, the side effects of getting healthy are not necessarily pleasant to talk about, but they are necessary. Um, first of all, I have a lot more gas than I used to. I have to be careful when I'm out in public. And sometimes I whistle a lot when I'm walking down the aisle of grocery stores to cover the noise. I just want you to know that's real life. And then um, you start 
having bowel movements much more frequently. They become looser. And any old debris that is in your intestines is going to start dislodging and coming out. And um, our, the walls of our intestines are supposed to be porous. And most Americans have, I'll call it black sludge on the linings of their intestines, which <clears throat> on many people means it's not porous anymore. So what is supposed to be happening in your body isn't happening. And um, so believe it or not, many Americans, as they get older, they're starving to death. That's what happens. They aren't getting the nutrients they need. And um, I will get more information on what the medical terms are for that later on, because I'm going to read a little excerpts from the book later and with information if you uh, if anybody's interested and uh, once again I am pursuing a quality of life not a length of life, life per se it's just however long I do live I want to live well alrighty that's enough for now